Hello everyone, I'm Pepper 580 welcoming you back for more something. Um, yes, the image in your screen is not lying, that is a Wii U sign, and you are watching Wii U images. Um, well, this is not a Wii U Let's Play video. Actually, I'm just going to show you how the Wii U works. Uh, this because I'm not able to do a lot of videos right now. Um, I was stupid and forgot my SD card back in the where in the place that I live in, so uh, I have to replay everything up to the point, and it takes time. So um, right over here, you're seeing the Wada Wada Plaza, but I cannot do anything about it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is switch up places, and now you're watching the menu. And yes, as I told you, this is not an LP video, even though Nintendo Land and Mario Bros. U are ready to be played. Um, I, I actually wanted to show how this works because someone requested, uh, someone in the comments requested this. So um, let me just switch up again. Uh, yes, you can actually shuffle up what you want to do. Uh, it's hard to show this because the, the control is... 100% in the tablet in the tablet controls in the Wii U gamepad. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just I'm just gonna go first of all into the internet browser just just to show you how it works a little bit. So as you can see, it goes all the way over there. Ah, uh, good thing that I didn't go inside of this because uh, yes, uh, I can open and close curtains. But right now, what I want to do is just go into, um, I don't know, Nintendo. Let me just type. There you go. And there you go. Nintendo. So, uh, as you can see, there is the pointer there. Uh, that's my little stylus when I point and whatnot. So, I can actually zoom in, zoom out. Uh, have multiple pages or whatever uh, so yeah it's kind of a normal browser not in not, not not anything special just uh, you can actually hide in the curtains and stuff and I actually have to try this a little bit more because I have not played uh, I have not played with the browser that much so I'll have to try this out but then you just click in the home button and you're back so let me show you this. This is the home button. Here you have your gamepad, your user, uh, the number of Wii remotes connected, and you have the date, the time, and then you have a lot of things. First of all, friends list. Of course, it's just the same with uh, as with the 3DS. It's just your list of friends, which ones are online, which ones are offline. So I don't have to show that. Miiverse. I'm gonna go into Miiverse a little bit later. We have the Nintendo eShop, which I will show uh, right now, but first let me uh, finish talking about this. I have the internet browser, you have the Nintendo TV, which is not available in Mexico, so I cannot show that, store for that. And the download management, of course, is just for your download, so I'm going to go into the Nintendo eShop right now. My god. So, uh, yes, this can only be navigated through the Wii U gamepad, but everything happens on screen too. So, um, just let me, come on, come on, little, yeah, there you go. <sighs> Thankfully, my internet connection is fast, well, kind of. So, uh, first thing you, you see here, you can enter download codes, you can see the charts, and you can see the news. Uh, you have your basic front page over here with highlights and just games by category, uh, things that have been bought the most. And then you can go to a menu. In this menu you have your usual stuff. A profile of what you've done, a wish list, rate, uh, you can rate the titles that you've played, and you can set your settings for this thing. Also you can check out a manual. So let me go into my profile real quick. Uh, so you can see your downloads, account activity, and the ratings. Um, let me... I don't really want to see anything right here right now, so let me just go back to search. Because, for example, uh, I see fonts, and uh, I like to play a Little Inferno. There you go. So, search with these filters, because it's the only thing that I know about it. 
You can also search by pricing and stuff. And then here you see the price. It's too expensive for me, but uh, it's a Wii U download only. Here is the details. You have the name, uh, the name of the thing. You have the ratings it's gotten. You got where you can get it if you can get it on retail and what uh, what platform it's for. Developers rating. You can actually see a video if you want. And uh, pricing. You can see more details about it and you can purchase it. So uh, you can go back to the front page, to the menu, or whatever you want to go for at any time of just clicking a button. And of course, we can go back to the main menu, to the Wii U menu, by just clicking the home button. So uh, let me just close the home menu for a little while. Here you have more stuff. Um, as you can see, you have your game, uh, your disc channel, as it was called in the Wii. You have the games that you've downloaded, you got a Wii Menu channel, uh, you have, well, this thing called Uplay is something released by Ubisoft. You have YouTube, Amazon, Hollow Plus, Netflix, all your uh, video watching media, and um, also you've got something to record what you've done every single day, the times that you've played, it, the, the hours that you've played, your Me Maker, which is a standard thing. You got parental controls, the Wii U chat, and the system, uh, the system settings. So, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Me Maker, just so you can see a little bit of the different things that you can do in here. This video is not gonna be a short one, guys, um, because of everything I want to show. Because I want to show pretty much what the whole iOS is. So there you go. Uh, so you got your options down here, you have create me, select me, send or receive me, and QR code and image options. You can actually see the things down here, so I'm gonna select create me, and I'm gonna select it from scratch because I don't want you to see my face right now because I am ugly at this time of the day. So uh, I'm gonna create a male character, um, uh, just to show off the, the things that you can do. I want some beard over there. I want it. Oh my god, that's not the thing that I wanted. That's not the thing that I wanted. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it's okay without those. And the kind of face that I want. I want that kind of face is okay. Yeah, that kind of that kind of face is okay. So then we got all of these styles of her hair, and you can see. Well, we we could put a boy with any of these. We can, like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good kind of, of hair, don't you think? Like that, black hair, please. Then we got all this, uh, black eyebrows, and then here you can adjust everything. For example, like this. Okay, more like that. Uh, there you go. So that's the kind of eyebrows that I want, and then you go to the eyes. Uh, I want this guy to look angry, so, like this, like this, and like this, yes, angry looking, big eyes, and yes, just like that. Then we got all this, and we got, you can put any kind of nose you want, Squidward nose if you want to, uh, Mario nose. Pointy nose, 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 a tree nose, and this kind of nose. But I'll stick with this one. There's still more kinds of noses over here, but I'll still, I'll stick with this one. I just want it a little bit bigger, like this. Oh my God, no, that was okay where it was. Thank you. And the lips. Uh, of course, this guy is angry, so uh, this guy is gonna go like this. So look, I don't want to talk about anything. Don't talk to me. And I want, yeah, it's okay over here. No, 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 where he was, yes. I want it bigger, and I want it, yeah, shorter. So, it's not gonna use glasses, because maybe this makes him look stupid, so no glasses. Uh, mustache, maybe, yes, mustache. Uh, but the, but the mouth is not visible anyways, so, and then this one, yes. Just like that, so yeah, this is better than the other one, so I'll leave that. And he's gonna be a tall, a, a tall kind of fat man, like this. 
not a favorite, thank you. And this is just a normal option, so you can enter the nickname, so this is gonna be Random Guy. Uh, Random Guy. It's a uh, male, his birthday is on February 29th. And uh, sharing is on and copying is allowed completely. And his favorite color is the uh, uh, gray, the white color, because it's so random, just like that. And with that, you just put on save, and there you go. So uh, there's my me, there's uh, another me that I created, but uh, that is not really important. And then you can go back and you have your options yet again, and then you can go back. Now, uh, what I want to show too is uh, Miiverse, but uh, I, I'm going to show Miiverse by games, because uh, Miiverse is divided into communities, and even though I can enter the communities individually, uh, I want to show just how functional and good uh, and well organized this is, so let me just enter Nintendo Land really quickly, uh, right over here, Nintendo Land. And, uh, yes, it takes a little bit, uh, it takes a little while for the whole thing to load up, but trust me, it really pays off because this, these are great games. Really great. Uh, so you have your Nintendo Land screen all, on all and about, so, uh, just, yeah, there you go. Sorry for that, it's because I just plugged it in. So you have to calibrate your controller, uh, have to put it in a flat surface. I'm flat, so... It doesn't work. My leg... My leg is pulsing, I don't know why, but it is. So, maybe there. There you go. And it starts! So, um, maybe it's not as clear as it is in my gamepad, but I love the way this looks. Uh, no, this is not a, an, LP, uh, an LP thing. So, uh, let me just show you how Miiverse interacts with you here. Oh, present. There you go, moment. Uh, you can touch people, they're, they're like that, uh, yeah, sure. Huh? Okay, that is something kind of new. But, uh, as I was trying to say, what the hell? Where's the people? Oh, yes. Hello there. And you got people from Japan, and they have a little message over there. Or people from, uh, is this? Yeah, this fans. So you can actually see uh, the people that are playing, how many stamps they have for each attraction, uh, the progress they have in, this, in each attraction, the total coins collected, uh, prizes won. You can, yeah, these guys, uh, you can send friend requests, or you can uh, talk to these guys. So, um, oh, another thing over here. Yes. Uh, those are presents. Uh, I'm not gonna get into game mechanics that much, but uh, you can see more people over here. Oh, look at this guy! Look at this guy! He drew Monita. That's the name of the computer that's following me. Uh, he's gotten 6 out of 80 stamps, a lot of progress, and I'm gonna yeah this guy. And then I'm gonna get to the interesting part of Miiverse. Yep, I gave this post a yeah, and then I'm gonna go and post a comment. Uh, in Miiverse, you can actually do two two kinds of posts. Posts. Miiverse allows you to uh, handwrite posts or to type in posts. So I see this. Uh, you can see the people that gave it a yeah. And I'm gonna comment a little bit here. Uh, for example, just what. I saw, actually this is just what I saw, uh, the first time I got a present. Unfortunately, you have a character limit, you, ha you can only post a hundred characters during, uh, if you're typing it, or, uh, you can only fill in the, the spots inside of the little place when you're handwriting, so, uh, first time I got a present, just what I saw the first time I got a present, uh, it's nostalgic already, and it actually is, so, nostalgic already, 
So there you go, There, the thing appears, you can actually mark this as spoiler, but it's not a spoiler, so there. You have your emoticons over here, so you can be happy, uh, you can be something, you can be surprised, angry, or just nervous. So uh, I'm gonna go like this, and then you just select post, and that's it. So there you go, and now I'm gonna... Uh, you can actually check over here, we're actually in Miiverse right now, so... Uh, right over here you can check your notifications. Uh, people that have given yes to me. Uh, friend requests that I don't have any. Messages you can actually go for. Uh, yep. People that have... Uh, you can actually exchange messages with your friends here. We close that. Communities is where the magic happens. There's a Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, 007 Legends, Nintendo Land Community, Cabela, Rapella, Family Party, Rise of the Gardens, Marvel Avengers, Uplay, U2. There's pretty much a community for each app that is released for the Wii U. Let me show you the new Super Mario Bros. U community. You can actually check everything out. You see the names of the uh, names of the levels over here. You see a lot of things. Uh, really, this is just the most entertaining uh, social network that I've been included in. And uh, something that I can show off right here, thanks guy for putting this on your on your place. How you get this? I tried running as Micro Mario, but I always fall. And then you get all this. Well, let me just, uh, yeah, just get a, a star power. I'm gonna yeah this, and I'm gonna comment. Uh... <clears throat> comment, I'm sorry for for that. I'm gonna draw a little star moon. I'm gonna put in here in text. Uh Starman Chain is the answer. There you go. Uh, you ha actually, during this level, you actually have to do chain Starman, uh, Starman power-ups to get to the end and get that last star coin. I'm not telling you uh, exactly where the level is, nor anything like that, but I'm just gonna post this. Uh, actually, he asked for help, and not anyone can see it because it's inside of his post, but he will be able to see it, and right there, that's, that's where this community comes in. I actually had some trouble with New Super Mario Bros. U, uh, Bros. U. I asked a question, and I had responses like 10 minutes later. So, uh, you can see your activity, your friends, how, how much they've been participating in the communities and stuff. A sunset train date with Monita? Why say no? And then you see a photo over here, which is this. You see, uh, it's, it's just about the creativeness that everything has in here. I just love it. I love the way the community interacts, uh, the way that everything is, is made into this. And then you have your uh, user menu, you have your profile, your favorite communities. You can actually block users, which is something good, uh, because there's people that are, are not going to be nice to you all the time. So it's a good option if you actually want to. I've not left blocked anyone. So you can search users, or you can see settings and other things, profile settings, Miiver settings, manual and Miiver's code of, code of conduct. So now I'm gonna go back uh, by pushing that. I'm gonna close my software, and I'm gonna show you something that uh, is I've been using a lot during the past few days, and that's because I'm an idiot. Anyways, uh. <clears throat> Coming here into Wii U menu, you get this. Uh, you get this awesome boot up, but uh, then you can have. Uh, I I'd like to show YouTube, Amazon, Hollow Plus, or Netflix, but really, um, you can you can pretty much guess what they do by themselves, and I'm not showing games, so uh, I'm passing a little bit on those. I want to go into the system set settings before going into the part that I've been an idiot. So forget, uh, scratch that, reverse it, and I'm gonna go into system settings right now. So, system settings. So uh, what I'm gonna show here pretty much is just uh, the the ways that everything is going through, uh, all the options you have. 
You can delete all content and settings, which would be pretty stupid unless you really have a problem or unless you really want to do it, so avoid this. You can update your system by just connecting to the internet, but how do you connect to the internet? You start off by here. Uh, connect to the internet, find recommended connection type, or view the MAC address that you have. So, find recommended connection type, uh, you could get that, um, let me just type it. Uh, do you use internet at home? Yes. Yes. And you have all of this. Uh, I, I'm not really going to show all of this because you cannot actually see that on your on your screen. Uh, but here is the, the things that I want to show, uh, connect to the internet. Uh, in that, you actually get uh, connection types and connections that you can search for. You just click on it and get a connection display or whatever. Then you got the data management. You can move, delete data, or format the USB storage device that you have connected. Uh, for this, I have my system memory, which uh, has 23 free gigabytes of space, and the USB storage, which is not in use because I don't have one. So uh, you can you can have that. You actually have to format your USB storage system because uh, the Wii U uses a different kind of data than the usual uh, storage. So that's a little bit different. You can set time and date. Uh, today is the 15th of December on the year 2012, and right now it's 9 o'clock a.m. So I'm gonna save that. All right. Now you have the TV connection types, uh, right now I'm not using an HDMI, so that's a shame. You have an, XP, uh, an aspect radio of 16 times 9 and, well, 16 by 9 a TV resolution that's put into 480i, and the TV audio output, output style is stereo. I usually have that in HDMI, in uh, 180p surround, and I don't remember the, the other option. <clears throat> you can actually configure your your Wii remote to be uh, to be part of the controller. You you actually can set your gamepad to be your TV controller. You can calibrate your Wii U gamepad's touch screen, your home button LED, the microphone, or the audio that comes out of the gamepad. And you can uh, change the in burn, enable burn in reduction to reduce the chances of burn in text and images. I actually use that, but uh, yeah, will dim automatically after the console is idle for five minutes. The screens will revert to their previous brightness if you use a controller. So I actually use it. You can set your Wii remote preferences with this. Uh, you can actually see this. Uh, adjust the Wii remote pointer sensibility to beat, uh, delete all Wii remote pairings and send the sensor bar. So you can do that too. Oh, I'm sorry for the little pause. And there's this auto power down. So you can set the time before the console turns itself off for 1 to 12 hours. Please be aware that if the power is turned off during the game, any unsafe data will be lost. I actually use this because I tend to leave this off like that. You can set your system language though, uh, over here, for example, I have I have the options for English, Francais, Espanol, and Portuguese, which I don't really want any of those right now, just English. The country of residence, you got a lot of options, United States, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Anguilla, and Antigua, de, uh, Antigua and Barbuda, Argentina, Aruba, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, Bolivia, British Virgin Islands, and you got a lot of places to put in. Uh, you can end your user license agreement, which I'm not gonna do, and you can set your nickname for the Wii console, uh, which I already did, so that's okay. Thank you. So, that's pretty much the options you have in the system menu. I'm sorry that you cannot actually watch those, but I don't have a way of recording my gamepad right now, so... Yeah, that's gonna be one of the reasons why I don't let's play anything on the Wii U for now. Maybe later, but not right now. And, uh, please wait, because we're going into another one of the options that I liked, but at the same time disliked. We got a Wii menu, so, uh, you see that, then you pay, uh, I already have my Wii remote paired, I just point and go to the Wii menu. Oh, hello there. Actually, this will set the console off when you go back to the Wii U menu, but right now it only come uh, it only points you to the startup 
screen of the Wii, which is kind of weird if you ask me. Anyways, you go over here and it's completely conscious that you have a Wii U and that you are playing from your Wii U. You also have a Wii system transfer uh, software, so uh, I'm not gonna get into this because I don't have my Wii over here and because Nintendo already, already released a video on this. You have a Wii menu manual just in case you don't know how to go through this. You got your usual shop channel and your me channel, and you would actually be able to play if you inserted a disc over here. So, uh, you got a me channel, you got a Wii shop channel, and I don't think you actually need me to explain how these work. So, uh, instead of showing any of that, let me just show that the Wii options you cannot actually change anything, you go directly into data management. Uh, I have saved data just for Mario Galaxy and for Pikmin because I'm so stupid because I didn't bring my SD card. Anyways, uh, you got the Wii channels, which I only have, uh, the Mii Maker and the Shop channel, which don't actually count, because I didn't bring my SD card. You got your usual message board. Just let me, let me show you what I did yesterday. Yeah, five hours of gameplay. Just because I forgot to bring my SD card, and I have to go all the way back through those levels all the time. So, uh, without further ado... That is gonna be everything for this episode, guys. Uh, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if I I really want to call this an episode, but that is gonna be everything for this video. So, if you like this video, don't forget don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment and rate, and I will see you guys the next time uh, for an actual let's play. So for no videos, later.